I got uh, uh, a cerebellar ataxia uh, of unknown origin, which they call idiopathic. So it's idiopathic cerebellar ataxia. My very first awareness that there was something wrong was when um, at the gym I couldn't uh, use the treadmill without holding on. And then I found that I couldn't do uh, tandem walking, which is heel and toe walking, where you uh, put your toe of one foot on the heel of the other and try and walk in a straight line, not holding to anything, and I couldn't. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I started to wonder what the problem might be. I would say quite difficult. Um, I knew something was wrong. Uh, I didn't uh, know what might have caused it. <coughs> uh, because basically it's like being very slightly drunk the whole time where you can't control your your legs going in the right direction. So I paid some of my own money and went and saw a, uh, a neurologist who, after a significant number of tests, um, came to no conclusion at all. And I was involved with a company in Canada and I was on business in Canada and uh, it had uh, some medical uh, uh, affiliations and my friend who's a, a, a specialist doctor in Canada, he said we'll go and see a, a neurologist friend of mine here and I had 25 minutes with him. Uh, again, the questions uh, uh, and uh, at the end of it he said you've got midline cerebellar ataxia. I said, well, thank you very much for telling me, you know. <laughs> it was as simple as that, and it cost me two bottles of fairly good white wine for the, for the privilege. Um, and uh, having uh, that sort of uh, uh, diagnosis, I was able to come back and, and found about Ataxia UK and the, uh, uh, the special uh, Ataxia clinic in London. And I attended, I had a uh, a brief interview with Professor Wood, who heads up the department, and then a session with uh, Paolo Ganti, and uh, took it from there. Not a great deal. I'm 78 now, and I, I retired uh, 20 years ago, luckily. Um, but uh, I suppose my... my, my uh, uh, greatest sadness, the fact that I can't play golf anymore. Uh, it's one thing missing the ball, it's another thing falling flat on your back every time you miss it, and it's not really fair on your, your partners. But uh, um, I, I'm married, and I, my uh, wife is extremely supportive, and um, really I get on with things as uh, best, I, best I can. Uh, the main thing, I think, is trying to avoid falling over. Um, I use a, a wheeled walker um, most of the time when I'm outside, um, and I go to the gym uh, two or three times a week because I believe that uh, one should try and keep as fit as one possibly can. And I do exercises that uh, don't involve me standing on one leg. <laughs> Certainly make contact with Ataxia UK uh, for the best advice. Um, keep fit. Uh, and don't worry. <laughs>